Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Frieza700, and we are back with talking about some more hentai. So let's get the show on the road, right? Hell yeah, get your dicks out. So the hentai we're reviewing today is called Study Partners. Now, Study Partners is something that I'm not a too big fan of, but it is a story nonetheless, so I figured, fuck it, let's review it. Especially since I had a little bit of, um, well, more or less post-nut regret when I saw some of the later chapters of this thing. Because holy shit, this guy is a furry. Yeah, we're, we're bringing the flamethrower, boys. We're going to be flaming this shit a little bit. I ain't going to lie, the art is actually really well done. So let's get this out of the way. The artist, his name is Thunderous Erection. Yeah, mark that down, boys. This is who you got to look up. His drawing is actually really well done. And these uh, three chapters that he's came out with so far are really well done art. Really good. He actually draws really well. He draws a feminine body really well, and he draws a masculine really good. The only problem is, is that he draws animals. Now, if you're a person who likes detail, Thunderous Erections got you covered. If you like detail and you're a fucking furry, this guy's on your list. Now, I don't mean to bash furries. I mean, everyone's got their own kink. Everyone's got their own fetish. But I just find it a little weird. So, aside from my um, hesitation of talking about really beast dicks this guy actually draws them pretty good like i had to actually stop like stop masturbating this motherfucker is really educational because i didn't know that an alligator's vagina was called a cloaca i had to stop masturbating and pull out the nearest web browser and go what the fuck is a cloaca a cloaca is exactly as he described it in the comics so he is very educational. If you are into animals, like you want to be a veterinarian, I recommend you masturbate to this a good six times. Now, if you're just a furry and you don't want to see actual animals with actual parts on them, this might not be for you. So if you want animal that's got human dicks and human vagina, this isn't the guy for you. <clears throat> We're already getting this out of the way. But when he draws an elephant dick... It's an elephant's dick. It may be a little shrunk down just for size, you know, that whole hoopla. But besides that, it's pretty much an elephant dick. It's going to be moving and doing all sorts of things that a normal dick can do. So if you're already a furry and you're jealous of your dog, you're going to be a little bit more jealous. But this time of a horse and an elephant. Because that's like the main two guys that we see whip out their dicks in this whole series. So, overall, though, is the story good? Well, I mean, yeah, it actually is. It's not bad. I'm not going to hate on it. In fact, the only thing I'm hating on is just the category of which it is, which is not the artist's fault at all, in fact. This is something that you can't control. It's just someone had to do a furry fucking story arc eventually. May as well be me. So, if you're not a furry, but you like stories, I'm pretty sure you could probably find yourself to set that aside and ignore the fucking weird genitalia and just masturbate to a good ass story because that's what i had to do because when i saw this i was like you know what i'm gonna put my hatred aside for just a second and just beat my meat and review it afterwards and i'm telling you now i've got a little bit of nut regret because of the fact that it is a furry thing and it's really on my conscience that's why we have to do a video but it's actually pretty well done like you got certain story dynamics between the donkey and the beaver and the otter, which are her friends. And you got some really interesting story dynamic between the horse and his buddy, the elephant. I don't think we're going to do parts on this. So it's kind of good just to review this once. But I don't want to spoil too much of it. Because, I mean, it, it does have a good story to it. So, aside from that, you kind of deal with this um, more or less story arc covering a girl who is a little antisocial. She's a nerd. She's a goody girl. So already my dick's fucking hard on, because I love girls like that, and girls who are very quiet, petite, not very social, like, hell yeah. Got my dick on the table and everything. We're ready to go, buddy. But then you got other things, like the character, uh, the horse. I don't remember his fucking name, don't ask. I don't remember any of these people's fucking names, honestly. But the horse is dealing with an issue where he's this cool guy. He's really cool. But the problem is, though, is that he's got some self-esteem issues. He's not entirely sure if this girl's got the hots for him. 
This elephant, on the other hand, is just this big, cool teddy bear bro who's like, dude, whatever. Just, just go out for her, dude. Just do it. Just do it! Whereas the otters and the beaver are apparently lesbian couples. I don't know how the fuck that worked, but they're apparently lesbians. One's got a big ass fucking tail that just whacks the shit out of the girl's ass. And then the other one's got, I guess, a soft tail for cuddle time. I'm not too sure how furries work. But all I know is that somehow one of them is bisexual. And this leads to, like, a sex altercation later in the... Holy shit, I can't believe I'm actually reviewing this. Oh, God. You know, there are certain channels on YouTube that stoop to an all-time low... I think this is my lowest. I think this is the peak. Holy shit. Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, I think the lowest peak for me is when I start reviewing fucking Trap Hentai. That, that's definitely going to be the low peak. Oh, God. I can't imagine masturbating to that. So, overall, though, you deal with like this um, a little bit of exhibitionism. So if you like exhibitionism where, you know, a boy slowly getting jacked off in public then this is definitely going to be your thing. The first chapter definitely does that very well. But if you're going to be a person who likes, um, I should say, long, drawn-out sex scenes, this is going to be your thing, too. Because that's the thing that I kind of have a, a problem with with most hentai is that when they draw the sex scene, like, most story arcs do it where it's really slow to get to the sex. But once it hits sex, sex is only, like, three drawings, and that's it. So you gotta kind of like re-loop and keep masturbating and then keep re-looping to the beginning. And that's just no fun. That's too much work for me. That's way too much hand-eye coordination. But in this, the guy actually goes in detail. So it actually feels like you were masturbating for an hour even though reality was you were only masturbating for six minutes. But for a storyline of the story, it was probably over an hour. So that is something I definitely give props to Thunderous Erection for is that he can draw and he has the stamina and endurance. <laughs> stamina endurance to actually draw image by image of just sex scene sex scene sex scene and that that itself takes quite a lot of stamina because i mean i can barely draw just six images from my fucking hospital stories i can't imagine drawing full detail a fucking horse vagina where the anus is slightly connected by the same like outer skin like dude this guy really fucking went out holy shit the more i'm talking about the more i want to fucking masturbate again like holy fucking shit this drawing is really well done on how well he does it. Fuck it. I'm a furry now. Fuck all y'all. We're all furries in this channel now. Sayonara, bitches. Furries only. God, do I wish that was the case. Besides that, though, um, I think the next video I'm going to review another hentai thing. But I think it's going to be another Warhammer first, then a hentai. Oh, God. I just can't believe that I actually took time to masturbate to these three chapters. I'm defeated. I'm a defeated man, guys. So, if you want to watch more hentai reviews, click like, comment, and subscribe. If you are Thunderous Erection, just know this isn't personal. I just criticize shit because I'm a very boring person, and I'm pretty sure that you have a lot of guys knocking on your door begging to be impregnated with your child inside their cloaca. And no, I am not over that. Do not even comment on it. This guy actually researched what a cloaca is and put it on an alligator for an elephant to fuck. So that way, he had to research two things. One, he had to research what a dick of an elephant's like, and apparently it's flexible. Apparently it's able to actually move around like a fucking finger. And then he had to research how would a fucking alligator blow an elephant dick, which apparently he found that out by just opening up the alligator's mouth and putting it, like, side by side with the dick, and apparently the dick just, like, bends over and just inserts itself. In. Like, this guy really went the fuck... Whew. He really went out of his way to draw this sex scene. And I'm, like, mind-blown by it, the fact that he even attempted to do this. Like, holy shit. I feel embarrassed just fucking reviewing it, but this guy is the one who fucking drew it. Holy shit. Ugh. You know, I actually would love to do a, um, a recording live stream of me talking to, like, hentai artists. And just recording and uploading it, just, you know, live stream of just us talking about, um, 
how they like really come to their ideas of what to draw and what the scene should be set on and what the story is cuz like Jesus fucking Christ my head hurts trying to like wrap my head around the story the story's good it's just that I just still can't get over the fucking fact that they're all animals and they're able to fucking like have sex with each other like oh man my head's hurting all right so that is it like comment subscribe and uh let me know what you think tell me if i'm wrong just you know go hey uh freezer 700 you're a dumb dumb furry's the best hentai in the fucking world and i'll have you know you fucking spick that uh hentai is the greatest and best invention known to man especially furry but if you don't like furry you can comment down below that hey this isn't your thing and you're gonna watch my other reviews though just know that this is a furry thing see you guys next time